U.S. Missile Defense Agency, MDA, review, space-based interceptors with lasers for hypersonic missile defense. The United States has completed a study of new weapons needed to destroy hypersonic gliders, U.S. Missile Defense Agency, MDA, Director Lieutenant General Samuel Greaves said. The Missile Defense Agency and the Department of Defense have completed an analysis of alternatives, looking at hypersonic defense of which fast interceptors are one option, directed energy is another and there are some other options in there, Greaves said on Friday. During the analysis, private industry was also consulted to assess whether the current suite of interceptors is fast enough to win the tail chase to hit a hypersonic target. Greaves added. Offensive hypersonic weapons are typically unpowered gliders that fall to earth at speeds of up to 20,000 miles per hour in erratic, knuckleball-like trajectories. As a result, the weapons are difficult to track with accuracy, let alone destroy with existing missile defenses. U.S. President Donald Trump unveiled the new U.S. Missile Defense Review in a ceremony at the Pentagon in January. The new strategy calls for pursuing space-based interceptors and deploying more systems in Europe and the Middle East. In particular, the document points out Russia's hypersonic glide vehicles, HGV, that can maneuver and travel at speeds of Mach 5 plus and fly above the atmosphere. Much of the technology discussed in the U.S. Missile Defense Agency will require many years of development, and in some cases will never come to fruition. But the following points give a good sense of the let's try everything approach the Pentagon is putting forth with the report. A space-based sensors is something we are looking at to help give early warning, tracking and discrimination of missiles when they are launched the administration official said. We see space as an area that's very important as far as advanced, next-level capabilities that will help us stay ahead of the threat. Just what that layer looks like, however, remains to be seen. Expect some form of disaggregated architecture, relying on many smaller systems rather than the expensive, highly capable systems that the U.S. has traditionally relied upon. Hosting sensor payloads on commercial satellites could also be in play. Space-based interceptors perhaps the most controversial of the ideas being considered in the document comes from the idea of having interceptors placed in orbit to take out ballistic missiles. Picture a satellite equipped with lasers that, when triggered by the sensor net, can target and launch against an incoming missile. The hope is to demo some form of space-based sensor layer by 2020s. A Defense Intelligence Agency report released this week said that China and Russia is leading the world with hypersonic weapons, systems capable of going at Mach 5 and able to move too quickly to be defeated by current generation missile defenses. Russia has also invested heavily in that technology. So it's no surprise the U.S. Missile Defense Agency calls for investments in ways to protect against such weapons. The Russian Foreign Ministry said last week that the document demonstrates that Washington has real plans to use space for military operations and warns that U.S. implementing its new space strategy would affect the system of providing security for space activities. Expect lasers at any time soon in space. But the U.S. administration officials saying nothing has been determined, the U.S. Missile Defense Agency does not call for investment in space-based interceptors at this point, only that we're going to study it and we'll see whether or not it's feasible. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.